Hey, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Let's talk about favorite winter blushes and lipsticks. You guys have to let me down, down in, no, down in the comments. What are your favorite colors to wear on your cheeks and lips in the winter time? There's something about the winter that it's some of my favorite makeup to wear. I don't know why, but in the winter, I do tend to be drawn to cool pinks, but usually cool toned purples and some neutral shades. And I always feel very pretty in those colors. I don't know why the colors just work for me. Let me know if it's the same for you. But I have picked out my five most worn blushes and then also five favorite lipsticks that I like to wear in the winter time. And I did try to stick to products that are actually currently available. I could have had more in each category, but <sighs> friends, they just continue things and it makes us sad. <laughs> So anyway, five things in each category that you can still get. And I also did not do this on purpose, but looking at it, it's spread out pretty evenly between drugstore, drug store, mid-range, high-end, luxury. Like, I feel like I've got all the things. So my husband just started up the sawmill outside. Hopefully it's not too loud. Shall we do blushes first? Let's start with the blush that I'm currently wearing. So this blush is weirdly turning into one of my favorites. Like, I, I say weirdly because this was a blush that I really struggled with for a long time to even make work. This is the Cheek Dew Serum Blush from ColourPop. It is a very oily, serum -y formula. I don't like how it applies usually if you're using a sponge. It soaks up too much of the product. It's just too thin. If you're using your fingers, it ends up looking kind of patchy. I really like using this with a stipple brush and that's how I applied it today. But this shade is called Psst. <laughs> I just love that. Getting a swatch of this is challenging because I always get way too much out because it has like the stupidest applicator, but I'll see if I can get just a little bit. As a serum blush, it does naturally separate. So I've seen a few people get rid of these and declutter and be like, ew, gross, it's already separating. But I minded that from the very beginning. I just shake it before I use it. So there is a nice swatch of that color. So it's not too, too purple, but in comparison to a lot of blushes, it's actually quite purple on me. I like how thin it is. I like how it dries down. It doesn't stay sticky, but even though it dries down, it still has that really nice kind of skin carry serum-y look to it. Like it just had leaves a really nice natural sheen without use of sparkle, which I am wearing highlighter. So, you know, this part is highlighter, but the actual blush does leave a nice kind of hydrated look to it too. This is one of those sneaky products that has really crept up as a favorite. Another one that is just so good in the wintertime is from Essence. So this is the Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade Goldie Cassis. So this is a true purple blush. This is more purple than the one from ColourPop. And I love wearing this with cool toned makeup. It is a nice baked formula. It has a slight silvery sheen to it. Nothing too intense with like big chunks of glitter, but it definitely has some sheen. And I keep reaching for this again and again. The beautiful affordable blush, if you're looking for a purple blush, I highly recommend this one. So the next blush is not purple. I do like to wear a really deep berry blush this time of year as well. The deepest one that I have is in this palette from Milani. So they call this the Cheek Kiss Cream Blush Palette. And I wear these shades at different times of the year. <laughs> I feel like this shade is one I can wear whenever. This is a summer shade, but this is my fall and winter shade. So the formula in here, it's very emollient, very melty. And if you've tried the singles from Milani with the same formula, I do think that in this blush palette, it's not quite as pigmented, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. If pigmented blush is intimidating, this would be a little bit of a better fit. I mean, it's a cream blush. It melts beautifully into the skin. It's not sticky. And this is one that can easily be um, padded. I keep showing you the wrong side. This is one that can be easily padded into your skin with fingers. And since it is such a deep color, I just use just a little bit of it. And I'm always so impressed. I think it's beautiful. And at all times of the year, I want to wear nude blush, but it does seem like I have specific nude blushes for the different seasons. And I do have two that I tend to reach for more in the winter time. So this first one's actually a single from Kier Weiss. It's much cheaper to buy it in a single and put it in your own little magnetic palette. They have the most beautiful, heavy uh, metal packaging, but it makes it really expensive. So I buy <laughs> the singles. So from Kier Weiss, this is the shade Inner Glow, which if you've been in my channel, for any amount of time. You may very well have heard me talk about this before, but this is a taupe blush, a cool taupe blush. And the formula from Cure Weiss is really interesting. You put your fingers in it and it's very melty, but not in the same way as like the Milani one. The Milani one is a lot more kind of 
oily kind of just kind of slippery where this is melty but not slippery in the same way it's very uh, different actually in comparison to other cream blushes I have so this blush it's got to be one of the best neutral blushes out there. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. And this is another one that I don't ever use a sponge or a brush with. This is definitely a finger blush. Tap it on like this. This is one that I know a lot of people like to use when they're using more than one blush. Since it is kind of a cool toned taupe, you can use it to kind of contour out your cheek a little bit, maybe up higher, and then put a pop of color on the actual apple of your cheek. Like it's just very nuanced color simply must, must be mentioned in a video about winter blushes. And then lastly, the other blush I've been reaching for a lot this winter is this one from Lancome. So this is the Blush Subtle Subtle <laughs> in the shade Miel Glacé. This is another blush I've been talking about a lot lately and I, it's just one of those that I keep thinking about so I keep reaching for it. So someone was asking me in my comments if it's more of a nude nude or a pinky nude. I would say pinky nude personally, but it's still not pink. I put it in my nude blush stash. This formula is very, very sheer, and it does have a very beautiful, subtle glow. So look at that in comparison to the shade Inner Glow from Cure Wise. You can tell that that one is more neutral, just more taupe, where this one has a little bit more peachy pinkness to it, but I still wouldn't call it pink. But I hope that answers your question. But because this is so sheer, you can kind of just go ham with it, slapping it on. It will never look bad. It's a very subtle blush that when I first tried it, I was just not convinced it was doing a whole lot. But every single time I would finish doing my makeup, I really loved how it looked and I keep reaching for it. It's a classic for a reason. So yeah, looking at those five shades, I would say that's definitely my winter blush palette. Now let's talk about lipsticks. So I just got a new one. I can't wait, actually, wait to show you. It's the one actually on my lips. This was a gift from my dear husband. Did I pick it out myself? Yes, but it was still a gift from him. <laughs> So I've been wanting a Gucci lipstick forever. I actually wanted to get the shade Lynette Stone, which honestly, I think that would be another beautiful winter lipstick. But when I went in to swatch to make sure the shade that I wanted, I spotted this formula. So this is the Balm. So it's a very, very sheer, balmy lipstick, which I am down for. This might be the most beautiful lipstick packaging I've ever seen. So even though it's a balmy formula, it does look like a regular tube of lipstick, but it is one of those formulas that you can just apply and apply and apply and it doesn't get goopy. The color does build up a little bit and it feels very nice and balmy, so comfortable. Is this an expensive tinted lip balm? Oh yeah, this is definitely a splurge, not for everyone, but I could not get over this color. So this color is the shade Esther Rosewood. Oh, not the same as Dolce Vita from NARS, but definitely kind of the same vibes, right? And just so glidey and so nice. Like you can see, I keep putting more and more on and it deepens the color a little bit, but it's not making my lips gloopy. Beautiful winter shade. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna get the swatch in my hand too so we can compare all these shades afterward. So you can see very balmy and sheer. Beautiful. My first lip product ever from Gucci and I'm in love. Okay, now let's do a drugstore product. So I know not everyone loves the L'Oreal lip products because of the floral smell. I admit, usually smells and lip products can be very off-putting to me, but there's something about these, I don't mind the smell. Yeah, I can see how it can be offensive to some people because it is floral. I actually tend to like it. I think it's kind of a sweet floral scent and I really enjoy it. Anyway, so this is the Balm in Gloss in the shade Rose Harmony. This is L'Oreal's Liquid Lip Balm, which I'm a huge fan of. And I just love that shade. It's not quite purple, but it's definitely coolish, purplish, mauvish. <laughs> which, you know, hopefully you understand what I mean by that. But I just love wearing that color. If you haven't tried this formula yet, if you don't mind the scent, I highly recommend checking that out. Okay, now I actually have two lip products from Clinique. And the first one is one of the Chubby Sticks. This is in the shade Richer Raisin. So this is another sheer balmy formula that I absolutely love. So it looks, you know, pretty dark in the little Chubby Stick, but actually on your lips, very sheer. This one is close to Black Honey, 
but it's actually got a bit more brown in it. And I think that is just so super flattering. And there's something about these chubby sticks. I don't know, are you like me? You just like putting on a chubby stick. I think it's so cozy and comfy and lovely. Let's do Black Connie next. You could probably guess that was going to come out in a winter <laughs> lip colors favorites video. I do really enjoy Black Honey. One of those classic products that 100% deserves to stay around. You can see in comparison to the uh, shade Richer Raisin, this is definitely more purpley, but it's still not flat out purple. It's got some nuance to it and I think it's gorgeous. I love that. And then we have a drugstore product from e.l.f. So I actually thought that e.l.f. discontinued these. I recently looked and they still have them, which is, makes me so happy. So this is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Ecstatic. I think this might be on a few people's lists as a dupe to Clinique Black Honey. Uh, it's not. This is way more purple than Clinique Black Honey. So this is the product that has the little um, center that looks like a heart. Let me slightly see. <laughs> so that's like the balm and the colors on the outside. So is it again another sheer balmy formula, which I just cannot get enough of these. I tend to want to collect them, but that is the shade Ecstatic, which you can see next to Black Honey. Ecstatic is much more purple, but definitely this is the type of color story I want to wear all winter. And honestly, I do wear this into the spring as well. We have a very short spring where I live. It seems like it's winter, 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 winter. We get a few weeks of spring and all of a sudden it's summer. So uh, this definitely kind of bleeds into spring as well. And I just cannot get enough of these kinds of colors. So let me know, make sure and let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these formulas, what do you think? And if purple, these kind of cool tone shades are not your jam in the winter, I wanna know. What do you wear in the winter? I think it's just fun. It's interesting to find that out. If you've made it here to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching till the end. You get to hear about my tea of the day. I'm drinking one of my favorite teas ever. This is Genmai Cha, which is a tea from Japan that has toasted rice in it. It has a wonderful, cozy taste. And this is one of those teas I keep around all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.